It's the Daily 304's presentation of famous people, places, and events that shaped West Virginia. Welcome to the History Project. Today we take a look at the steel industry. As it did everywhere, West Virginia's steel production began with iron. Wheeling, a transportation center near so much coal, built the state's first iron mill in 1834. This expanded into nail factories and with two of the largest in the world, Wheeling became known as Nail City. In the 1850s, the Bessemer process to transform pig iron into steel by removing impurities changed the game. Andrew Carnegie boosted its usage in Pittsburgh in the 1870s, and the world followed suit. The first Bessemer steel mill in Wheeling started in 1884 by converting the Riverside Iron Works into the process, making steel the region's shooting star. A giant step forward happened in 1909 when Ernest T. Weir, co-founder of Clarksburg's Phillips Sheet and Tin Plate Company, built a new factory in Holiday Cove in Hancock County, north of Wheeling. It was so successful that he consolidated the region's multiple towns to create the city of Weirton, where he developed the factory into Weirton Steel, the flagship of his national steel. Around the same time, Whitaker Glessner, Wheeling Iron and Steel, and the LaBelle Companies consolidated to create Wheeling Steel, which further merged to become Wheeling Pittsburgh Steel in 1968. The two behemoths of West Virginia steel production became huge rivals. By the 1970s and 80s, though, cheaper international steel flooded the market. Weirton and Wheeling Pitt went through a series of purchases by international companies, and most steel production in the northern panhandle has sadly departed. But the history of its contribution to the American economy is remembered in its nickname, Steel Valley.